Hey guys, and welcome to our channel. Today we're working on this beautiful 2020 Sprinter Storyteller, and we're going to do one of my favorite upgrades, the LED lights conversion. This is gonna be the front and rear lights. Our customer came all the way from California to do this upgrade, and we'll be more than happy to help him so he can see the difference while traveling back uh, home. And he will be, I promise that he will be very happy to see the, the difference because the factory lights are absolute junk and recently announced Chinese junk aftermarket lights they're the same crap as the factory lights so if you're looking forward to do the upgrade look only towards the OEM uh, lights we're offering the complete service of selling the front and rear OEM excellent condition like new lights together with the programming and coding and of course if you already have your lights done and you just need help with the coding program, we will be more than happy to help you. Just, uh, you know, reach me out through our website or here on YouTube. Recently they announced, the Mid-City Engineer announced the so-called solution on doing that uh, coding and programming by plugging the OBD device. But trust me, after doing more than 100 conversions like that, I can tell you that every time is completely different. There is no, 100% working solution for every particular van because every van has different options like this one for example it has cameras it has lane assist it has destroying it has uh, corner cornering illumination with the fog lights so it requires more time to get it done but you're welcome to try if you want to of course in this video we will not do the, like a detailed uh, it's not a detailed DIY guide, so I'm going to show more the connection on the inside, where to get your CAN, high and low, where to get your power, and uh, which plugs exactly you need to disconnect to get the wires for the lights. Because I have people sending me the emails and asking, where, where can you show the exact places where you're getting the, those wires and CAN and high signals? So. I'm gonna show you this part and we will see the final uh, result. So stay tuned. Beautiful new lights are in, connected and uh, ready to be coded in program, but we need to finish the wiring inside. So let's check the diagrams from the Mercedes software again. So let's start working with our, with our diagrams. We are working right now with the halogen left light diagram. We have a socket MR1 on a SEM module and the wires number 1 black and white and then wire number 20 yellow and black. The wire number 1, this is our CAN low or solid green. The wire number 20 yellow and black, this is our power supply which will go to the fuse block and the fuse is number 68 and 69. We have our negative wire, the negative wire is already wired to the chassis of the vehicle so no need to do anything then we have uh, we need our can high this is going to be our socket uh, the socket number rba1 and the wire number 17 green and black we disconnect that wire and that's going to be our can high green and white wire i'll show you where i'm getting the uh, can high and can low and uh, i'll show you where the fuses are 68 and 69 now let's check the same wires for the right halogen light. So now we have the wiring for the right halogen light. And we need the socket number MR2 and the wires number 5, that's black and gray, and the wires number 2, that's a yellow and red. The wire number 5, that's our can low solid green, then the wire number 2. This is our power supply that will go to the fuse box and the fuse is number 68 and 69. 
and the same story with the Kanhai. This is the, the uh, um, socket RBA2 and the green and red wire. That's going to be our Kanhai or green and white wire. Now let's move to the vehicle and connect our Kan High and Kan Low and our power supply to the headlights. So now we're going to connect our Kan High and Kan Low. I already connected them and soldered them. Uh, if you have the plugs like, like, you, like that, you can use them as well. But if you don't, you can just tap them, tap the uh, wires to the existing ones. Like I made those extensions for uh, left and right headlight. And this is not a power cables, it's just a signal cables. So I just solder them and put the cloth uh, tape. And uh, I made a separate line for a left headlight and separate line for the right headlight. So I'm gonna take off the uh, RBA1, RBA2, MR1 and MR2 sockets. Remove the necessary wiring and we'll sol solder them together and line them up in a right way and then we'll start working with the power supply this is our 68 and 69 fuses i already also prepared the uh, so-called self-made uh, fuse wires this is 15 amps wire and we're going to connect them together but before doing that i strongly suggest to disconnect your uh, negative terminal under the dash so this is how our finish installation looks like i put all the wires align all the wires here at the back connected everything and put the zip ties and uh yeah soldered every connection and put the heat shrink together with the tape so uh took me probably two hours to get it done and if you're doing that the first time it might take a little bit longer but everything is possible and Here's the result. Yeah, but again, you will not always see that result because sometimes there will be no lights whatsoever and they can be only enabled with the computer, with the computer. So what the, I forgot to mention about the rear lights that the rear lights will be working, however, they will be given the full codes and they will need to be programmed as well. They are not plug and play, meaning they will give you the full codes as well. Finished working on this beautiful Sprinter van and as you can see there are no full coats on the dash. All the lights are on and the front and the rear and everything and we also enabled the automatic uh, high beam option for this van so we'll turn on automatically and turn off. Um, it's a very cool feature I think and very convenient to use. And the lights itself they look awesome. I really really like the way they look so please subscribe to our channel for more videos and if you have any questions as usual we'll be more than happy to answer and to help you out have safe trips